Hello YouTube. A little tip here when you got a small part to grind. Say I have this little bushing and I want to grind the end off. This is an old chuck off a drill. And it was a battery rechargeable drill where the battery wasn't removable. It's like a twenty dollar drill. And I had it for five years or more. It got to where it wouldn't charge up anymore. But you can lock it in an old chuck. I saved the chuck off it. And these are keyless chucks. And you have to hang on it with your fingers. Like so. I got this idea from an old boy in Arkansas. Older gentleman. He was using it to buff brass screws for his Maytag engines. So, give you a little hint out there who I'm talking about. Some of you know who I'm talking about already. But what a nifty idea. So it's not going to waste. You can hold little brass screws to buff them on something. Sharp, if you get sharpen a drill bit, you can hold your drill bits in it. And I learned that years ago with drill bits. I'd seen somebody show me that. They had an old chuck around, and it was a big one. It was probably off a half inch drill. And they used it to sharpen their big drill bits. They'd hold it in their hand and go up against the grinder. But little how to tip there for the week. I'd like to have a couple every week because they do add up. I know some of the stuff is simple, but it might be something that somebody hasn't thought of. And I'd forgot all about it until I'd seen it. So, having fun with the mini grinder. It's still going. I did redo this. This is that stuff that's the clay where you knead it together. The JB Quickwell was, was, wasn't was much on there, and it got real rubbery when it got hot out. I did put a note on that on my grinder video. But this is that epoxy where you knead it together. And I actually used this like a lathe. I made a small tool. It kind of looks like a bit and I like it angled. It kind of looks like a your little wood chisel bit for a wood lathe and don't go don't go up here get above center have it jab. I just went along evenly kind of like a real lathe and smoothed this down and took some emery and sand it and put some Permatex uh, not Permatex, permanent marker put some permanent marker on there. It was a cheap brand. I used red and blue which makes it kind of purpley black. It looks black on the camera. but thought I'd throw that in there. That I did redo it. I did put a note on that video because the second one I made was a lot better. I put this stuff on there. This stuff seems, this thing seems to be pretty straight. What I like about these cutter blades, you're not supposed to grind on the side. That woven stuff you wear that down, you'll make this fractured. But I like about these, they seem to work a lot better than these cheapy cutter discs. These are more a uh, fiber. This has more of that grit stuff in there, like the mini Dremel. You can actually see the grit in there. You can cut through a piece of metal of these pretty good with got high enough speed. About enough of that tip. Thanks for watching.